Hi, Hotep. Um, I've been sent um, a question um, for me to look at, and that's um, AIDS and um, black diseases. Um, so I'm just going to say a brief word about it. And as we know, AIDS means acquired immune deficiency syndrome, and it is a disease that prevents the body's natural method of protecting itself against diseases which is the immune system, you've got a low immune system um, from working properly. And it develops over a period of time in men, women, children, and it's also known as the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. And um, the virus attacks the cells in the body, particularly the white blood cells um, of the immune system, um, the T4 lymphocytes, that help us fight disease. So these cells are sometimes called the helper cells. And I mean, it's an immune, uh, autoimmune deficiency disease. And uh, along with AIDS, there's many others. There's um, there's lupus, sarcoidosis. Um, I mean, you name it, and uh, we've got it in in our communities. And basically, what I want to say from a holistic point of view is, um, like my mom always says, prevention is better than cure. But obviously, once you've got it, there's um, there's things that can be done, I guess, to alleviate um, the sy symptoms. But I'm really looking at the preventative parts of it. And, you know, for me, um, the, you know, all diseases begin in the colon. Okay, I'll repeat that. All diseases of the body start in the colon. So it's it's almost like a, a little follow-up of my colonic um, video, but it's also um, just specifically addressing these autoimmune diseases, um, which, you know, I'm a sufferer of, of an autoimmune disease as well. I mean, it's, it's not AIDS, but it's 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 a a, a disease I'm gonna have to cope with for the rest of my life. And one of the um the strategies I've used, as I say, is is colonics, because you know in the colon we've got the villi, and you know the main thing really is if you can keep your colon clean, you know if you can keep monitoring you know, the effectiveness, the efficiency of your colon, um, you know, you stand a good chance of not having your body not being at ease with itself. Because when statistically, when you look at, you know, of all the cases of AIDS in the world, 50% of those cases or more are black people, you know, and what, why is this happening and what can we do about it? And, you know, for me, you know, I think you need to adopt, you know, a highly nutritious diet, whether it's via smoothies or uh, via juices, you know, and also incorporate those, you know, regular colonics into your program because, you know, I, I can't emphasize it enough, you know, you, you really need to keep... Um, you know, you call on clean, um, immaculate as 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 much as you can. Um, this is a picture of the AIDS virus, how it looks pictorially. Okay. Let's see if you can get that there. Okay, and basically it says, you know, all, we all know, you know, they said, you know, not to have sexual intercourse if you know um, someone and not to use intravenous drugs, um, not to, but, you know, not to share um, razors, toothbrushes and other implements that are, you know, uh, can contaminate the blood. Well, basically, there's a wonderful book I read years ago, and I think it was called um, Be Your Own Doctor. 
and you, you know mother nature is in abundance and you know if you can just adopt a more raw raw you know green leafy diet you know exercise and you know do those colonics I mean don't wait whether you've got any diseases of the body or not uh, you know you're never too young to, to you know to um adopt this program and you know death has no age it's it's no regard of age death has no regard of age so once you you hear this information and this type of information i think you should adopt it as soon as possible you know we can't just wait until we get the symptoms of whatever illness it is i mean in my case it's 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 sarcoidosis and you know I've been on, you know, these um, steroids for such a long time, um, and it, it's it's detrimental to health in the long term. It it does control, um, you know, a, a systemic illness. It's it's a palliative treatment. Well, I'm on the steroids, but it, it's not the cure. But there is a cure. There's always a cure. Mother Nature, there is a cure. Years ago, I heard that there's this um, therapy called ozone therapy that is very good for um you know cancers autoimmune diseases and but i mean i don't know enough i know it's like oxygen is o2 and ozone is o3 so it's a it's an ozone three treatment into your blood but i mean you'd have to research it further and 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 and, and look into it yourself but that's what i've heard but all I can say, whatever treatment that you do adopt, the first and foremost thing that you, you should do and you must do is take, you know, get in a program of having colonics, keep that colon clean, you know, and you'd be surprised, you know, that's the colon is where all diseases start, you know. That's where all diseases start. So if yours is clean, then it stands a good chance that, you know, it'll be, these, these diseases will bypass you because, you know, it's got nothing to feed on, you know. So I think, yeah, we have got, you know, stigmas about, you know, this type of treatment but you know rest assured it, it, it's for it's for yourself you know it's it's a good treatment it's you know you're not gonna lose through it um, it's private you, you can do it in, in, in it's in privacy you, you, your modesty isn't um, compromised in any sort of way and you know you're doing it for you and um, posterity stake for your children for your grandchildren you know if you want to live long enough to see you know the next generations to come then you know you know please go out and and and, and look in at least look into um having um you know a, a colonic and for me since um i started you know having the regular treatment of um uh, colonic hydrotherapy it, my this uh, you know i've still got it obviously but it's been alleviated alleviated in such a, a wonderful way in such a great way that you know that's why i'm singing the praises of colonic hydrotherapy i'm just you know so it, it, it's just a quick read but go out and look into this treatment and um, get yourselves a colonic and you know it, we've got to we've got to do something about what's going on in our communities and you know holistic um, treatments is um, one of the, the main ways we can combat it you know and you know I'm just I'm just glad that that sister sent in the, the you know 
that question to me and asked me to just have a quick word about it. Um, that, that's what I think. There's loads of different therapies out there that you can, you know, undergo to obviously combat uh, illnesses. But I think it's better to catch it before in its infancy or even before it starts. Prevention is better than cure, you know. And, you know, too many of our soldiers are just, you know, just being taken away from us. Um, so that, that's my word for today anyway and I'm uh, just saying you know thank you for joining me again and if you've got anything you'd like to see me um, looking into um, please do join me and uh, send it in and I'll see what I can do um, on your behalf so thank you um, longevity and long life to you and your loved ones peace